Red Bull flew us to Austria for the Hare Scramble, the most brutal endurance motocross race on the planet. But first, we got a day to explore on our own. So yesterday when we got into town, it seemed like a ghost town. And we found out that it was uh, actually a national holiday. River just running through here, I mean, it's so peaceful, it hurts. Today, however, uh, Le Bowen is cracking and we are going to investigate our surroundings, which could mean all sorts of things. My producer, Jason, just knocked over someone's bike. Jason is a kickstand. We're gonna go inside the store here to see if we can get me some traditional Lederhosen. I'm looking for Lederhosen? Yeah. Lederhosen. Yeah, we have a Lederhosen set. It's beautiful. Oh. So? Let's yeah. See. There's another black person in here getting Lederhosen. It's crazy. This is gonna be great. These might be the most amazing pants I've ever put on in my life. Perfect. Ask her if it's a good idea if I walk in the street or if people are going to be offended if I go walk around like this. She doesn't think it's a good idea. How does it look? But how? Sexy. Yeah? Oh, yes. so good. Yeah? Is it good? <laughs> Leader holes in. That's how you get the women. Look at this. What? Taking a tour through the thugged out history of Austria, dating back to the 15th and 16th century. This is nuts. Swordfish killer. Good morning, everybody. As you can see, we have woken up this fine Saturday to the other side of Austria, which is going to make it very interesting uh, at hair scramble today. They say that it might even be raining harder up on top of the mountain. Could even be some snow. So you got to bring your boots. You got to be prepared for all situations. We're making our way up the mountain, but it's a crazy scene. There's just the thousands and thousands of people either on quads, dirt bikes, walking around. I have a strong feeling that we have no idea what it is that we are actually in for. It is raining, cats and dogs, the mountain is fogged up at the top. They had to cancel all of the racing today. So, that means that people have to get creative. It's a massive beer tent over there. We're gonna go and check it out. So talk to me about the course, like how hard is it? Well, I mean, already, like, with perfect conditions, it's super difficult just because the camber of the hills and you're going, like, sideways along them and, dude, to keep the bike on it alone is hard enough. It takes a lot of throttle control and a lot of good technique. But then with the rain, carrying the bike and pushing the bike off the bike is going to be better than probably actually trying to ride the bike. They're probably saying only 10 people will finish out of 500. Now, that, now that's saying something. And these are the best off-road riders in the world. At the biggest enduro race in the world, when it's raining and the course is uh, not rideable, you uh, take big Bacardi barrels and roll them through the like the super enduro section of the course, which is actually the finish line. If it's enough, say stop. Stop. Say 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 stop. Today I have to shoot about uh, five or six what we call stand-ups. What do you want, Melody? 
Can you see him? Make it tell me. I know over you here. are. Do you want food before you go stand in the hill for five hours? Of course I want food! Let's go eat them. We're going to make a party. A dirt dirt bag party. Is that our like, For the first stop. Yeah. That's our car. That's our car. car. We call the crash car for a baby. The swing? I'm not into that. That's not what I heard. <laughs> and we're off. Mr. Masakela will be right in the thick of things today. On the mountain at the start, which is supposed to be very spectacular. They roll in all the bikes down, all 500 of them. And then the guy who calls the race drops the flag and they all fire up and take off in waves of 50. You know, Herz Cramble is the, the hardest enduro race in the world. These are the best riders in the world, especially in the first row. Uh, we have all the enduro and trial stars. The whole race is about 20 checkpoints. Until checkpoint number seven, I think you are allowed to help as a spectator. This is the most effed up situation that I've ever seen in the history of any event ever. That was amazing! One to ten of the big hardest things you've had to do. Where does this rank? This is for sure ten. You know, when I got up to right before the Carl's Diner area, and the, one of the workers came back and said, "Hey, no, 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 we we got to stop the race. Like, the rain's coming, the lightning's coming," and I'm just like, "Okay, we're out." <laughs> this is the craziest event I've ever been to in my life. We started with 500 dudes this morning, and it ended with seven. <laughs> That's a new record low for this event. Austria, I'm in love with you. Thanks for coming and riding with me, guys. See you next time.